Well, that's a long assessment statement. So basically aspirin and paracetamol. Well, salicylic acid is the basis for other mild analgesics such as aspirin or oil of winter green. That was easy. I always thought silly sally acid would be a better name for that. Let's look at the pros and cons of aspirin. Well, on the good side, aspirin has been shown to protect against heart attacks and strokes. Now, don't say aspirin prevents heart attacks and strokes. That's over-egging the pudding. It just protects you. Bad things about aspirin can cause stomach ulcers and bleeding. Another thing you need to know is that some people have allergies to aspirin so-called salicylate allergies, and Ray's syndrome in kids. Now, what is Ray's syndrome? You don't need to know. It just makes your head fall off and wither around. No, you don't need to know. Paracetamol, or acetaminophen, as it's known in America, Yeehaw! is a mild analgesic. And taken in the regular dosage, it's fine. But if you take too much, it might damage your brain, it might damage your kidneys, it might damage your liver, and it might cause blood disorders. So those are four things that could go wrong. Brain kidneys, liver, and blood disorders. And on a rather sad side note, uh, nothing to do with the IV, if you do decide to kill yourself with paracetamol and you survive, they wake you up in hospital later, there's a good chance you're just going to die a few days later of uh, liver damage because paracetamol is a hepatotoxin. It destroys the liver. And of course you can have a transplant, but you're going to be pretty low down on the list if you just destroyed your own liver.